Hey y'all, I'm here. So, my disk use is getting a little out of hand. And I figure rather than getting rid of containers I'm never going to touch again, or hours of raw video footage I'm never going to look at again, I'm going to instead use eClean and then eClean kernel, they're just isn't really an option for freeing up space on boot other than getting rid of old kernels. So eClean comes from Gen Toolkit, which if you're using Gen 2 you probably have installed. eClean kernel is just its own package, and both are good ways to free up some space. So eClean mainly uses two commands, eclean dist for source files and such that general source-based stuff piles up, and eclean pkg for binary packages. So just to give a bit of an idea of what can happen if you don't run eClean regularly. Just gonna look at disk usage. Summarized so it only shows the directory I'm pointing at instead of like every subdirectory. And human readable so that we're looking at stuff in gigs or megabytes as opposed to just bytes. I'm going to point it to slash var slash cache slash dist files. If you've played around with your dist variable, this could be someplace else, but this is the default. So yeah, as you can see, it's it's been a bit since I last ran this. Not gonna lie. And the other default path just replace dist files with bin pkgs for your pkg dir, but I don't really use binary packages for much, so that one's not really as much of an issue. So if you want to learn about the various options for eClean, there is always the man page. And it's just one man page for eClean shared between the two because eClean dist is pretty much just an alias for eClean, but look at dist files and eClean pkg, same just for binary packages. And most options are global, meaning they're shared between both. There are a couple dist files specific and one just packages specific. But the handful we're going to be looking at are all global. So some particularly useful ones dash d or dash dash deep to only keep files for an installed version of installed packages. So like if you have Steam installed, it'll keep the files for the latest Steam version but not for older ones. If you used to have Steam installed but removed it, it'll just get rid of all files for all versions of Steam. You can combine this with dash n or dash dash package names to protect files from older versions of anything you have installed. Then dash p or dash dash pretend is useful if you want to just preview what it's going to clean up, and dash 
AI or Dash Dash Interactive works less like Emerge Dash Dash Ask and more like RM Dash I in that it asks for every single file instead of just like asking once at the beginning, like, hey, do you want to delete all of these? So yeah, to see some of these in action. Just gonna run eclean dist dash deep package names so that it keeps older versions, pretend. And this will most likely take a bit longer for you. I ran this command recently enough that it just kind of remembered what it calculated before. So yeah, this will free up 12.9 gigs for me. And if I decided to not care about older versions, now it's freeing up 18 and a half. So if you're not pretending, you will need root for this. Now I'm just gonna do this with interactive. So if you just hit enter, it'll take that as yes. You can also type Y, and for now. And the main reason why I decided to include I is because I've seen cases where A is all. I've also seen cases where A is abort, so I'm genuinely curious which this is. If A is for all, then you can always just abort with control C. Yes, let's see what A does. Okay, looks like A is in fact all. So now if I do df dash h again. There is much less space being used. I mean, still a lot, but percentage went down a bit. And if I check usage of dist files again, now it's down to 7 gigs. So yeah, that was eClean, and eClean kernel does not appear to have a man page. But you can run it with dash dash help, and that'll bring up help text. So you have some useful options here. Dash capital A or dash dash ask so that it prompts before each one like interactive for eclean dead. L could be useful if you just don't know what kernels you have. For anything like this, the pretend flag is going to be useful for just seeing what it's going to do. Dash n or dash dash num so that it just keeps the current, the newest however many kernels. So like dash n2 would be the newest one and then one as a fallback. And yeah, those are pretty much the main flags I wanted to highlight there. So like with regular eClean, I mean, unlike regular eClean, I'm going to clear the screen first, but like with regular eClean, I'm going to do a pretend run first just to see what it'll do. Now we'll go with N2. So if you scroll through, you can see what it's going to remove and for what reasons. I'm pretty sure 5.2.8 is my LFS kernel, which I'm just going to keep even though I don't 
think Grub is even set up to boot to that right now. Then a bunch of older ones that are not referenced by Grub, along with the files for them. So yeah, also worth noting is that this isn't just removing the installed files in slash boot, it's also getting rid of old kernel sources and modules. And yeah, looks like 5.2.8 was the LFS one. So now I'm going to change pretend to ask. And like with eClean, this is going to require root to actually clean stuff. Then 5.2.8 going to type no because I want to keep that. For the rest of these, yes might be the default, so I'm just going to not answer for any I don't want to keep and just see what it does. Okay, so looks like yes is in fact the default, so that's good. Yeah, it's just kind of going through and removing all of them. Oh, it's been a while since I ran this. I didn't realize I still had a 5.4 Gen 2 kernel. So yeah, looks like it only kept the newest two and the one I specifically told it to. So now let's look at eclean kernel dash l and yeah kept the newest two and kept all of that fun stuff so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about with eclean and eclean kernel gonna just do one last look at Free disk space. And looks like sources and modules freed up some, but not enough to go down another percent. But slash boot definitely has a much lower use percentage. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Hopefully it helped, and uh, have a nice rest of your day.